Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on a Lenovo laptop. I'll walk you through step by step. In this process, you get to see on how to upgrade your RAM, upgrade your M.2 drive, maybe change the battery or even the motherboard. So let me walk you through the step by step on how to do that. And I'll show it to you on the motherboard here. If you flip it in the back, you can take a look at the model. It says IdeoPad 315i TL6. So this is a Lenovo IdeoPad number 3, the third generation. So let's go ahead and take out the back cover here. First, you need to have a Phillips screwdriver or you can have the uh, electric screwdriver like what I'm using right now. These are all regular Philips screws, uh, nothing really special. If you're interested to uh, buy this electric screwdriver, I'll link them in the description below. I got it from Amazon and uh, this is not a sponsored video. Just so you know, I pay out my own pocket money and uh, because every day I'll be, you know, taking things apart. Uh, instead of using the manual screwdriver, I figure using the electric screwdriver helps me. Uh, it doesn't make my arm sore. So all the screws are the same except the bottom four screws. The bottom four screws are a lot shorter compared to the other, the top and the middle screws. So once you remove um, all the screws, let's go ahead and open up the uh, back cover here. I like to work on the side so that way it's a lot easier to get in. Get a prying tool and pry open the back cover here. All right, once you remove the back cover, you get to see your entire laptop. Let me give you a quick tour and tell you what it is. So this is the main battery, uh, the CPU fan. This is the heatsink. The RAM is hidden underneath the bracket here. This is your M.2 SSD drive, a Wi-Fi card, the motherboard. That's pretty much it. All right, so the first thing I like to do is to disconnect the battery. What you can do is you can slide a connector to your right. There's no clipper or anything that holds onto it. You slide it to the right. That's how you disconnect the battery. By the way, this is your CMOS battery. If you want to reset your motherboard, you know, some of the settings or maybe the motherboard password was set up to reset the motherboard, you can disconnect the CMOS battery by slice, uh, by pushing or pulling the connector to your left that's how you disconnect the CMOS battery all right let's go ahead and remove the battery here So for this battery, if you want to do a replacement, try to look up the model here. It says L20M3PF0, and that's how the battery looks like. Now the battery is supposed to be flat. They are not supposed to be swollen or lumped or any bump onto the battery. It's supposed to be flat like this. Now, one of the thing is if your, key, uh, if your touchpad is not clickable, or your touchpad is not working, there might be a high chance that the battery um, is swollen and pushing against the touchpad in the back here or the clicker in the back. 
So you might want to consider taking uh, take a look at the battery, make sure that the battery is not swollen um, or anything that is damaged to the battery. Okay. So let's move on to the next part here. This is the RAM. And if you want to take a look at the RAM or upgrade your RAM, you need to remove the cover. The cover is just a metal piece right here. There's nothing really special. And they kind of go in between this uh, clipper. So this clipper is to clip on the, uh, the RAM bracket. Now, to upgrade the RAM, what you want to do is you want to push the two um, hinge or the clipper that clips onto the RAM away from each other. So push it left and right. So from here, you want to push it against and that's how you slide it out. Here it shows you that this is the 8 gigs of RAM DDR4 or PC4. PC4 stands for DDR4 RAM. Okay, you can upgrade this from 8 to 16 and just slide it in and that's how you can do it. Now this is the uh, M.2 drive. They use the shorter version and the full size is supposed to be this length. So what they do is they use um, a bracket to uh, to extend the hard drive right so this is a shorter one version of the hard drive if you take a look at the capacity it says it's 512 I believe uh, let's see does it say anything here I thought the computer comes with a 512 well uh, you figured it out you can go to the uh, oh yeah right here it says 512 the model is mc dash al q 512b uh i think that is the 512 gigabytes m.2 drive now um, for those of you who are interested to upgrade the um, the hard drive to a larger capacity what i recommend you to do is to um, buy one of these USB adapter again I'll link them in the description below uh, I got this from Amazon what it does is it allows you to uh, maybe clone the hard drive or back up the hard drive uh, all the data right so this is an adapter let me give you a brief walkthrough here and I know this is not part of it so assuming that you would like to upgrade your drive and how you can do is you can actually go ahead and get yourself like a one terabyte or two terabyte uh, get one of the adapter get get the uh, the m.2 drive and while this thing is still installed here what you can do is you can plug it in to your usb site and then use the acronis a software that i use to clone it so meaning that i can clone your original hard drive over to the larger hard drive assuming this is the one terabyte you can clone it over from this over to that um, without losing any of your windows your programs your data and everything will be cloned over into the new drive so that way you don't have to reinstall your programs or back up the data uh, you can start working off right from the new drive all right i'll link them in the description below i make a separate video on how to clone your hard drive from a smaller M.2 to a larger M.2. Check out the link in the description below and that will walk you through the entire process. Now, for those of you who uh, try to reduce the heat, this is what we call the thermal pads. This thermal pads here conducts the heat uh, from the hard drive to, you know, to, the, um, to the back cover. All right, let's move on. So this is the uh, Wi-Fi antenna. The black is at the bottom. The white or the gray is on the top. Go ahead and remove it. And this is your um, LCD cable. Make sure you open up the clipper and slide the cable away from your body. And this is the probably the um, webcam and the microphone and slide it to your right. That's how you disconnect this. Let's push it away from, from the motherboard. 
and let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of other cables. So this is your speaker, slide the connector down. And if you have a broken speaker, very simple, you just remove the connector and the entire speaker, you can just uh, remove it, the left and the right. And this is the cable that run across it. This is your keyboard, flip the clipper open, slide a, a flex cable down to your body. This is the keyboard backlighting. You can do that as well. This is the um, open up the clipper and slide the flex cable to your left. Open up the clipper, do the same thing to your left. This here is your CPU fan connector. So you, what you want to do is you want to um, push the connector away from you. So that means away from that direction. And that's how you can disconnect the CPU fan. So let's go ahead and remove the screw. Three screws and you can remove the CPU fan. Okay. Now, if you want to find a replacement on a CPU fan, you might want to come and take a closer look here. This might be the model number DC28000 GBV0 or something else like this one here. Just look it up. You might be able to find the uh, um, the CPU fan replacement. Okay, so this is your heat sink. It attached to the uh, CPU here. Now, let me walk you through a little bit here. So if your computer is overheating, meaning that um, if the fan always go on a high speed, that means that your thermal paste might be all dried up, or maybe um, you might want to come and clean out the heat sink exhaust here. Make sure there's no uh, dust or linens, uh, especially if you have pets, make sure there's nothing stuck in the, in the, um, in the heat sink here, okay? Now, also, if you want to apply a new thermal paste, I recommend you to use the alcohol wipes. Go ahead and wipe down the CPU um, thermal paste on the heatsink and the CPU here with the alcohol wipes and get yourself a, a thermal thermal paste M4X and then apply it on the, uh, the CPU. That way you would have uh, a moist thermal paste to to have a better conduct heat on the on the heat sink. All right, the next part is to remove the motherboard. Let's go ahead and remove the two screw here. And this two screw is the hinge that holds on to the LCD. So what you want to do is to up lift the uh, LCD hinge, the hinge up. My fingernail is hurting because I, well, anyway, I'll try my best to open it up. Okay, flip the hinge up a little. You have to do this on this part here. Let's see if I can... Uh, Okay, and then go ahead and remove the screw. And there is a screw right here. I believe is uh, there's a screw right underneath here. It's for the warranty purpose. Lenovo have it here taped down. 
Okay. Now you can remove the entire motherboard. If you want to find a replacement on the motherboard, let's go ahead and look up the number here. That's the product number for the Lenovo. Okay, that's how the motherboard looks like. Now the DC jack is soldered onto the motherboard, meaning that if you broke the DC jack, uh, you would have hard time replacing it because you need to do the soldering part. Uh, do not do I do not do the soldering here, so I can't show it to you on how to uh, fix this DC jack, but to replace the entire motherboard. Now let's do a quick talk about the uh, um, the keyboard. The keyboard is not replaceable. As you can see that the keyboard is a punch down. There's no screw that holds onto the keyboard. So if you break the keyboard or some of your keys are not working, then unfortunately you would have to um, you would have to replace the entire keyboard. That's how they design this Lenovo now. Uh, that's how they design the keyboard. So unfortunately, if your keyboard is broken or you spill something on the keyboard, you can't replace the keyboard, but to replace the entire palm rest. All right, so there you have it. Um, and also the crack screen, you can replace the entire crack screen just like that, or you can replace the LCD itself. Uh, I'm not going to show it to you on how to do that in this video, but uh, if I get a chance to do it on the next video, go ahead and check out the uh, my channel and click the like button if you if you haven't subscribe to the channel um thanks for watching i hope that you learned something today until next time take care now bye